of me? No. I will hurt you. Uh-huh. It's time for Neighborhood Community Shoutouts. Okay. First of all, I have to say, we hit our 4,000 subscriber last night, and we made a video, and we were all excited. And we're down to 3,999. So, we need somebody to subscribe to get us back to 4,000. We're at 4,001 for a little while. Yeah. Yeah. So, come on, people. We need some more subscribers. We've got to get over 4,000 and stay there. Okay, guys, so here's the deal. If we stay over 4,000 subscribers by June 25th, that's one month from today, we will do a live Q&A. So it'll give you time to come up with some good questions, and it'll give us time to get over 4,000 and stay there. So... There you have it. Shout out time. Daniel Kalik Badar. Like. I said it right. Yay. Welcome to the neighborhood. <laughs> Christopher Liu. Yeah. Welcome to the neighborhood. Brett Vlog. Welcome to the neighborhood. And anybody who hasn't seen Brett Vlogs that needs to go see Brett Vlogs. He has this this song, and if you sing his song, he'll put you on his channel. Brett Vlog, Brett Vlog, putting his life on the internet with his wife and kids and his crazy dog. Or his stupid dog. And his stupid dog. I think I got it right, Brett. Let me know. And Anthony Dim 15 welcome to the neighborhood. And Chesame One, happy 50th birthday. It's today. She didn't tell us, so we couldn't wish her to her yesterday. So, happy birthday to you, Wendy. Hope you're having a great one. Okay, my five channels that I want to shout out today is Little Lucy Chihuahua. Go check it out. She's a cutie. Dave Nicholson. A lot of our tags that we do that come from Angie come from Dave. Uh, Big D Jr. He's not making that many vlogs right now, but when he does, he's pretty awesome. So go check him out. Kate Two Vlogs. It's a new channel for her. She did another channel called Katie's Weight Loss, I think it was. And she had a tremendous journey on her weight loss. And now she is no longer on that journey, so she started a new channel. So Katie underscore two underscore the number of vlogs. Domestic Goddess. Gotta go check her out. All these channels are awesome. These are people I watch. So, and it's very hard. Okay, my question yesterday was, are you serious minded or are you a jokester? Okay. Get up there. Now I gotta get my little tablet thingy out here. And Tanya Longley. I'm serious only when I need to be. Otherwise, I'm just plain old crazy. And I can attest to that because I grew up with Tanya. And yeah, she's plain old crazy, just like me. Okay, Lord Gear now. I'm Siri Silly. Serious Silly. Silly. I, for, I, I can't. How's he saying that? Uh, Serious Silly. Serious Silly. Yes, 50-50. When isolated or with strangers, he's serious, typically. But with friends, silly as a party hat on a unicorn. I like the way he put that. Doug E. Style. Most of the time I tend to be serious. But if there's an opportunity to make a joke, I'll take it. One time, a girl told me her cat liked to sleep on her oven. And I said it was his home on the range. <laughs> Very funny, Dougie. Okay, and Tracy Quick. Okay. <clears throat> I'm not a serious person. When I was a kid, I was very shy. But in my 20s, I filled in one night for a DJ 
in a club and loved it so much. So I started MC gigs for different kinds of events. And if I had to be on stage with another person, we would feed off each other's silly jokes off the top of our heads, no script at all. I miss it so much. Being on stage in front of hundreds of people is like such a natural high. And when I managed at Banana Republic, she had to speak in front of all the employees. And of course she had to be serious, but she never was. So she always had the intention of the employees because they never know what she was going to say. <clears throat> so, what about you? What was the question again? Are you a serious-minded person or are you a jokester? Um, I don't know. What do you think? I'd say you're a little bit of both, but you're more on the serious side. Yeah. My humor's kind of dry, too. Yeah. You have to really know Kevin get his humor. What do you think about me? You are just crazy. <laughs> Yes, I am. My question for tonight is, what is the wackiest belief you had as a child? It's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. I want to go this way instead of your, your ear this time. Um, okay, so tonight's question had to do with the Lost Boys, right? Yes. Lost Boys, 1987. And I asked, why was Kiefer Sutherland wearing gloves through the whole movie? Well, he was supposed to only wear it in one scene where he shows up on a motorcycle, but he was he was uh, playing around with his motorcycle and he broke his wrist. So he ended up having to uh, wear a cast the rest of the movie, and they put glove on to hide the fact that he had a cast on. I guess not too many vampires. No, because they wouldn't break any bones. And people who got that correct was Terry Johnson, the YouTube guy, Tanya Longley, Cole Today, and Bandy F. Woohoo! Alright. Tonight's question is about the movie Dark Shadows. Uh, Tim Burton movie had Johnny Depp playing Barnabas Collins and Michelle Pfeiffer. Um, it had some interesting cameos in it, very important cameos in it. Who showed up in cameos in that movie? There you have it. There's your trivia question for tonight. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here if it weren't for all of you out there. We love you all very much. Thumbs up. And we will see you all tomorrow.